Hello guys, my name is Aday, uh, the innocent criminal. I've been ready to share this piece with all of you guys, man. This is my Independence Day poem. I've been working on it for a while. It's been a decade, y'all. It's been a decade since we chose us. We have felt the stink of pain, endured the promises of empty gains. Our patience has passed through the fire with strength, hope, and desire. The wildest laughter, that misery. It sure shared their like mockery. Nations turned their backs on us in tears. We rode our lonely horse. Drums of war threatened our peaceful air. Tribalism attacked our weakness to bear. Some predicted that division was gone. Others doubted the rising of our morning sun. But today, today we stand on a united hope. Merging through history with our thoughts to a low. We have seen the worst of our land. Nothing can tear us beyond the last band. We are more than just a country. Let's look back. First year was a new beginning. The ray of sunshine hitting your skin, making you feel whole. The oneness, the time to celebrate. We held our hands as we touched each other. Had to feel it was beautiful. Yes, call it a new dawn. Remember, second year was a promise. Aligning our visions, following our live missions. Many of our children came back. I remember getting my first shots with this passport. We were on a new path. It was the time to build. Time to hold our ground. Benjamins had nothing on our pound. All submitted to power. Same time, UAP was concluding talks with the state. That was the birth of the Equatorial Tower. Third year was hope. We all started to see the light at the end of the tunnel. But not all was comfortable at the table. It was rumor after rumor. You would think it was a joke told by AK Dance. All that humor. Now that's when it all started to get tough. I remember I was back home, nursing my ill mom. Shortly after she passed, that's when all chaos began. Slaughtered our souls like animals. The wild watched and laughed so much for self determination. Greed is how you kill the nation. But she knew it. He gave us cash, and the rest he left it to your imagination. Everybody was skirted, filled with fear. We felt it was here, the freedom they promised us, the trust they asked of us. All hope gone. Was glad my mama left before seeing all that. Her heart would have been torn. Fourth year was chaos. Tribalism started to spread like Amazon fires. Head speech everywhere you heard a sound. Different factions, militarized stations. Free movement was now a thing of the past. We thought it wouldn't last. Fifth year was balance. So many displaced. Humanitarian assistance was as highest. We didn't have the slightest idea of how it's going to pan out. I remember coming back that year. This time I was here to stay. Six years was another chaos. Performed for the first time in Juba, the open mic days. But no one said what Simon says. It was a blurred independence. Everybody got stuck in independence. I witnessed hatred shooting in the air. Face to face, they shot at they hurts. Young people killing young people for their interests over all. Stupid, right? Right? The price we paid at such a low cost. Seventh year was running, everybody was moving, lost, searching for nothing, we became tired, we needed to slow down. The entertainment scene was magical, I remember performing in front of that Haganah crowd, historical, claimed our country, the passion was evident, the wolves held their talks while the ship took their walk, eighth year was restoration, Ethiopia became our second home, all those are disagreements turned into disagreements, more bloodshed, again free movement. Remain a thing of the past, we thought it wouldn't last. Ninth year, nearly a decade, it was awareness. Our visions once again clear. As for what's ours, even COVID, we stood together, constantly held them accountable to their promises. We gave what to their offices, power sharing, we compromised with them, then asked them to deliver. Now a decade, I look at it as a new beginning, forgetting the past and remembering the future, visualizing where our kids should call home again. I'm choosing to play my part, it's a new beginning. I'm choosing to heal, the wounds are now cursed. Spend beautiful pictures on them. We are quickly becoming the honey in Africa's poetry in Hona, we'll write a love story. Giving hope in place of selfish glory. We are South Sudan, the jewel of the Nile. It's the 10th anniversary, y'all. Thank you so much. Cheers, a day.